Welcome back. This week we're talking about the five best places to live in Vero Beach based on your personality. All right, our first Vero Beach personality is the social butterfly. Now, the social butterfly is a person who um, knows all the tea, is like a gossip girl who knows what's going on in Vero Beach, is out to lunch and brunch with her friends, knows who is who in Vero Beach. And the best place for the social butterfly to reside is going to be in downtown Vero Beach. The cool thing about downtown Vero Beach, which technically is called 14th Avenue, is that it's got a couple different areas. So to its northwest um, of the downtown area in Vero Beach is called Original Town. You're gonna find like really older, smaller homes. Some homes were built in the 50s there or even earlier. Some of them have been restored, some of them have not but it's all within walking distance of downtown and it's a really, really neat area. It also hugs to the, to the west, McCanch Park, which is another really nice kind of older, traditional Florida um, vibe kind of neighborhood. The other part uh, of downtown Vero Beach is this area called the Historical Arts District which also has some historical homes, very eclectic homes. Some of them have like that um, kind of Spanish style, like horsehair kind of construction, like really, really neat, really beautiful, very unique and eclectic homes in the historical downtown district, we call it, the housing district. To the west of the downtown area is the Historical Arts District. It hugs the downtown area, again, to the west, and it is such a neat community of homes here in Vero Beach. It's one of my favorite areas because the homes there are so eclectic. Most of them are very old, hence the Historical Arts District, and a lot of them have been, again, restored. But you're gonna see, if you do drive through there, you're gonna see what I'm talking about with just like very old Florida charm, really unique homes with a artistic, like bohemian kind of appeal. It's really neat, really awesome. Again, walking distance, definitely bicycling distance to many, many of the Main Street attractions. And I think if you're a Vero Beach social butterfly, this is the perfect spot for you to live because you're gonna be able to go on foot to all of the different things that they've got going on in downtown Main Street, Vero Beach. You can be there, you can be seen, you can socialize, you can go walk to your favorite coffee shop or your ice cream parlor, take your kids on a stroller ride over to a couple of different parks in the area, walking distance. So that is where you need to be if you are a social butterfly in Vero Beach. My second personality type is the nature lover. This person loves to be outside year round. They have an appreciation for all of the flora and the fauna that we have here in this beautiful area. They love the tropical vibe of Vero Beach. They don't mind the heat or a little bit of bugs. Not a problem. So our nature lover loves to be outside. They want to have their morning coffee outside overlooking the water. Um, they want to be outside in their pool. They want to be kayaking on the Indian River Lagoon. And this person really should live in the Fingers. The Fingers is its local name. Its official name is Vero Isles. Vero Isles is in East Vero Beach. It hugs the Indian River Lagoon. Almost every home in Vero Isles is on a waterfront lot. So they've got a couple of little canals carved in. We'll show you an overview of that. And you can see it looks like a hand with fingers sticking out, all right? Vero Isles is so cool. Like I really, really love um, this community because it's so close to what the locals know as Miracle Mile. It's a stretch of shopping, dining, conveniences. You've got coffee shops, you've got Fresh Market, you've got Publix, you've got Panera, you've got a couple mom and pop eateries. Um, a lot of the things that you need are right there within walking distance. 
You also have to the north Royal Palm Point, which is a really nice little um, peninsula of land that's got, you know, a couple of other conveniences like hair salons, some eateries, a great yoga place, and more. So um, I really, really just love the location of Vero Isles because it's so, so close to conveniences and it's very easy to hop right on Route 60 and shoot out west if you need to go out to Target or anything that's more out west in Vero Beach. So the location is Remo prime location. And again, your waterfront. So if you wanna be in Vero Isles, you are going to have to write a hefty check um, for your piece of land there, but it is a nature lover's paradise. Your literally waterfront, some of the best views in all of Indian River County, absolutely gorgeous. And there's a really, really nice park right there in Vero Isles. Um, it is a public park, but if you go at any point in time in the day, you're gonna see people out there enjoying the sun, sunshine, enjoying the beautiful views of the Indian River Lagoon, uh, long, expansive water views. You can watch the boats go by. You can watch people sailing. It is just the quintessential nature lover's paradise. So my third Vero Beach personality is keeping up with the Joneses. Okay, so you know who this person is. So this person drives the nice car. They live in the big, beautiful pool home. They are very focused on status and their outward appearance. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with this. But this person cares about what's going on with their neighbors. Did their neighbors put out the, the fresh flowers in the springtime? Like, they have the lay of the land of what's going on and they want to be seen as having it all and being put together. So this person absolutely needs to live in Castaway Cove. <laughs> so Castaway Cove is one of our really beautiful neighborhoods on Bureau Beach's Barrier Island. So prime real estate right there on the island south of the 17th Street Causeway, which is our south bridge in Vero Beach, Florida. Um, a lot of the families uh, who want to live beachside live in Castaway Cove. It has very low HOAs for being a gated community on the island. You do take care of your own lawn. You do have autonomy over your house and how you present your house and the colors that you paint your house. So it's a very, very lax HOA, which is one of the reasons why so many people love to live in there. Again, they have autonomy over their home, even being inside of a gated HOA. There's a couple different communities, what are called waves. I actually do have more videos on this channel about Castaway Cove. If this sounds like this is your jam, go check them out up there. You can click that little uh, link. But Castaway Cove is gated on all of its waves. One of them is a manned guard gate, so you actually have to stop and show your credentials. The rest of them um, have just where you have a, a code or a pass to get in. But Castaway Cove is so fantastic. Castaway Cove is where you want to go if you're trick-or-treating um, on the beach side for Halloween. They do a lot of great things for families because there are a lot of families that reside in these neighborhoods. So Castaway Cove is one of my favorite neighborhoods that is beachside. And if you are a parent who has a child going to the private school down the island, St. Edward's Private School, Castaway Cove is gonna be a good option for your family. I also, not to be the person who plugs everything, but I also have a video all about the best neighborhoods to live in beachside if you want to live, or if you want to send your child to St. Edward's School. Go check that out too. Um, but yes, yeah, so great, great location, convenient location if you wanna be on the island. And again, this is the neighborhood to be in if you're keeping up with the Joneses in Vero Beach, Florida. All right, my fourth Vero Beach personality is the quiet retiree. This person has come to Florida to retire for a, a slower, easier pace of life. They wanna be in um, warm weather year round. They wanna walk on the beach every morning. Sometimes they get up to see the sunrise on the weekends. They wanna enjoy their coffee out on their lanai. Uh, screened, of course, so the bugs don't bite them. Like this person wants to take advantage of all of the 
wonderful luxuries and ease, again, pace of life and just beauty here in Florida. All right, so they have come to Indian River Shores, or that's where I would send them anyways. Indian River Shores is the community for the quiet retiree. Indian River Shores is an area on Vero Beach's Barrier Island that is in the north part of the Vero Beach Barrier Island. It is quieter. It has um, a lot of luxury homes and a handful of really nice condominiums, like turnkey condominiums. The typical person who lives here is going to probably be older in age or like a retiree type of person because it's a little bit out of the way in Vero. It's not right in the mix of everything that's happening. So you're probably going to be most likely surrounded by other retirees if you're up in Indian River Shores. Indian River Shores, though it technically is in, still in Vero Beach's 32963 zip code, it has its own city hall, building department, law enforcement, uh, fire department. It's got really its own thing going on. It's like a little, its own little municipality inside of the 32963 zip code, which if you are familiar with Vero Beach is a very prestigious zip code. Um, Indian River Shores is also home to Johns Island, the very exclusive and prestigious Johns Island Club. So you're going to have um, much more focus on peace, and quiet and serenity and um, all of the like, really like all the ducks are in the row in Indian River Shores is what I'm trying to say. So it's perfect for the quiet retiree. So my fifth and final Vero Beach personality is the traveling snowbird. So a lot of our clients um, that initially come to us are traveling snowbirds, right? They're looking to get away from the cold in the winter. They want to be down here where the weather is beautiful year round. Um, but this isn't their only home. This isn't their primary residence all year round. The traveling snowbird is the person, again, who wants to take advantage of the best weather in the country wherever they need to go. They typically summer up north when everything is so lush and green and beautiful, and they winter down here in Florida where everything is still so lush and green and beautiful, and the weather is fantastic, and they do not have to shovel snow or any of that stuff, unpleasant stuff. So our traveling snowbird typically is looking for some kind of home that is turnkey, typically in an HOA neighborhood where the outside is maintained for you. You don't have to maintain your lawn, it's done by the HOA. Typically in a gated neighborhood for added security for their home when they're not there. And I think that the best neighborhood for a traveling snowbird is hands down Waterway Village. If you're looking for a single family home, Waterway Village is a series of very beautiful communities in middle Vero Beach. A little bit north, but mid Vero Beach, right smack dab there in the middle. And um, Devosta, one of my favorite builders in the area, my favorite, favorite, favorite builders, has built out Waterway Village in all of its different phases. And the homes there are beautiful. They are, again, turnkey. They are built with a snowbird or a seasonal owner in mind. And I just really love this community so much. Your HOA fees are reasonable for all of the things that are included. Again, you get a security gate, you get your exterior um, maintenance all taken care of for you. You're very likely to have other snowbirds, we call them, or seasonal owners around you in that community, but you also do have year, year long residents. And I've found that the neighbors are really awesome in Waterway Village and they do a really good job of just kind of keeping an eye on things in the neighborhood or in their vicinity. So love Waterway Village, love, love, love it. It's also very close to, they have a kind of a newer Publix, um, Harbor Point Publix, that is kind of like mm, north-ish Vero Beach, north middle Vero Beach. Um, and there's 
you know, a place to go get your hair cut there. There's a bagel place. There are some little places to carry out food. You've got a beautiful Publix, lots of conveniences, Dunkin' Donuts, Walgreens, all right there in very, very close proximity. So I think it's just a fantastic location. I love this neighborhood so much, especially for the, um, the traveling snowbird. It's just gonna be uh, the most ideal situation. You can leave and have peace of mind that everything's taken care of for your beautiful Florida home here in paradise. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Those were my five best places to live in Vero Beach based on your personality. Obviously, there's gonna be more personalities than this, but these are like my quintessential five after so many years of working in real estate. These are the types of people that we, um, you know, can categorize and it's a little bit fun, right? So if you have any questions about any of those communities that I talked about in this video today, again, I love all of them for many different reasons. If you have any questions about them, you want some more information, reach out to me. Our contact information is right down there in the description below. You can also visit our website, which is in the description below. Um, we've got all the homes that are available on the market. You can search by a bunch of different criteria and everything's updated in real time for you. You can hop on there and you can save yourself a search. Um, and then if you have anything to add, leave me a comment below. I love your feedback. I love to like message with you guys back and forth. So let me know what you think and I'll see you in next week's video. Thank you.